Hi everyone, welcome back to our Saturday devotional. And I'm just glad that you're here and following uh, along. And uh, as you know, in the uh, few Saturdays here in Advent, the four Saturdays uh, coming up here in Advent, I'm going to be uh, hitting some of the highlights out of this devotional I wrote. And I know a lot of you are following along in the devotional, so I thought that might be fun. Uh, today's uh, highlight will come from Advent Devotional Week 3, Day 1. So uh, it's a little bit ahead because uh, it won't be till tomorrow that we get into the second week of Advent. But uh, anyway, when you get to it, you'll have some more background on that particular devotion. Uh, this devotion comes from Isaiah chapter 11, 1, 2, and 6. Let me read that for you a minute. Then a shoot uh, will spring from the stem of Jesse, and a branch from his root will bear fruit. The Spirit of the Lord will rest on him, and the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and strength, the Spirit of knowledge, and the fear of the Lord. Uh, all right, so uh, I share a little story that uh, took place in my second ministry. This was in the early uh, 1990s, and, uh, and I have permission to, to share this story. Uh, it was uh, really a, an incredible movement of the Holy Spirit. Uh, and so um, one day I was just sitting at my office and I got a call from one of my parishioners who said, you know, that her husband was really dealing with some deep depression and she wanted to bring him by so we might sit down and talk. And I just reminded her that, you know, I'm not a therapist. I, uh, you know, I'm not a counselor. Uh, I'm a pastor, a teacher, theologian, but I'm not a psychologist, psychiatrist. and I don't know a lot about how to you know, heal uh, depression. But she insisted, and uh, so I said, okay, you know, stop by, we'll, we'll sit down and talk. And I was shocked when they stopped by because he was, I would probably describe it as catatonic. I mean, he walked, basically shuffled into my office, uh, not saying a word, staring off into space uh, with his wife. And he sat down and I could see in her eyes that she was desperate uh, for help, and she really wanted me, you know, to uh, to bring some healing into his life. And, uh, you know, I felt, you know, compelled by the Spirit and just, you know, as my, uh, you know, work as a pastor to, to care for them, uh, to love them. Uh, but I wasn't really sure what I could do, you know. So anyway, uh, again, I said, you know, I, I think he really needs to see uh, someone uh, who is really trained in dealing with this issue. I could see that how serious it was. But uh, she said, no, I, I want you to you know, talk with him. I want you to spend some time with him. And, and then she just left. And it was me and, and him. He was sitting across from my desk. Uh, you know, and I'm thinking, well, I've, you know, I've got my sermons to write. I've got you know, an article to write. Uh, if, if there had been social media, I would have had to post on social media, you know, that kind of thing. And I had no idea what would be helpful for, for him. And I was just praying about that. And as I was sitting there, he wasn't saying a thing, wasn't even looking at me. Um, I was looking up into uh, my bookcase. I had a, a wall with a bookcase, all my books on it. And I was just praying, uh, you know, and saying, Lord, how am I going to deal with this? And I was just looking at the books. And my eyes rested on a book called Hope for the Troubled Heart by Billy Graham. And I got up and walked over and grabbed that book. And I said, Bob, you know, uh, would you care if I just uh, read a couple of chapters out of this book? He didn't say anything. So I took that for a yes. And uh, we sat there for an hour and I read a couple of uh, uh, chapters to him. And then his wife came and he, he shuffled off. And the next week he returned again, shuffling in, again in a kind of a catatonic, staring off into space kind of thing, not saying a word. And I grabbed the book and I read a few more chapters. We spent a week, or, you know, spent a, an hour together and then off again. And this went on for several months uh, where he was uh, coming to, uh, to sit with me and I read from this book. Now, I did see a little bit of a change over that time where he began to, you know, begin to talk and, and maybe, you know, acknowledge and be more alive. Uh, and, and then after a while, uh, he came out of it and, and again was engaged in social and things like that. And he came to me afterwards and into my office and 
uh, said how much those uh, times spent with him uh, meant to him. I didn't even realize it. I didn't even know if we, you know, were getting through, uh, if, if he could hear me or understand what I was trying to, to say or what the book was, was saying. But I was thankful that I could play a small part in that. And, uh, you know, so I took the book off the, off my uh, bookcase and I wrote a little note to him and I gave it to him as a gift that we can remember that we walk this together. Now, Isaiah tells us that a shoot will spring from the stem of Jesse, growing into a branch and will bear fruit. And of course, we know that shoot to be Jesus. It was symbolic, uh, a metaphor for Christ coming. Uh, out of this dead stump, you know, would come real life and uh, a branch that would grow up and, uh, you know, and be uh, a savior, you know, be a salvation and represent for us that when our lives are at their lowest point, you know, if we've uh, experienced uh, uh, disbelief or loss or sorrow or even depression, that uh, out of those kinds of stumps can spring uh, the living life of the Lord Jesus. And I, I think that's an important principle to, to, to have. Um, it's not going to happen overnight. It didn't happen overnight for, for Bob. I mean, it, it took him months for us to uh, really uh, make any breakthrough uh, w within his own life. And, and so it doesn't happen overnight. But if we stay with it, we think about it, uh, I think that there will be in our own lives uh, this fresh, new, you know, wherever we're at dealing with what we're dealing with, uh, this fresh, new experience will will come up because of, of Christ. And I wrote, the shoot is Jesus Christ. And today, if we let him spring from the stumps in our lives, we will grow branches of wisdom, understanding, counsel, strength, and knowledge. And we can have uh, that assurance um, that, you know, out of these things, we may you may be really feeling a sorrow over a loss that happened in the last few months, uh, you might uh, you might even be dealing with depression. Uh, you might be uh, thinking of uh, disbelief in your faith and feeling a failure there, or whatever the case might be. Um, you may be experiencing, uh, you know, uh, work-related problems or family problems or marriage problems, whatever that might be. But Jesus can, in our lives, work out something new and something fresh. Uh, that can grow on it if we rely on his uh, counsel and out of those experiences we gain wisdom and we gain understanding and strength and knowledge that then we can work with others we can empathize for them when they're going through a loss or sorrow uh, or a period of disbelief or uh, you know whatever that might happen uh, we can walk with them uh, you know I learned a lot from that experience I learned that sometimes it's just sitting with people and, uh, you know, maybe reading together. It could be the Bible. It could be Hope for the Troubled Heart by Billy Graham or anything. Uh, but when we walk with someone through their trial and problems, uh, there will be healing in that process. And so just remember that. Advent is a time when Jesus can come into our lives and, uh, you know, and be that new spring of growth. Uh, and then we can also be that to, and helpful in being a part of the new spring of growth in other people's lives. And that is really important and a part of what Advent is all about. And maybe we can get our own, uh, one of our book clubs uh, to get that book and go through it. That might be fun too. Hey, thanks for joining me uh, today and I look forward to seeing you next Saturday.